Hello, welcome to Andrew Lavery Show, where we talk about investing in the stock market and where we talk about using the stock market to help build wealth over time so we can all become self-made millionaires. In this video, we're going to take a look at AGNC Investment Corp, or just AGNC for short, that's their ticker symbol. And I'm going to use them as an example to show you that just because a company has a double-digit dividend yield, it really may not be a good idea to invest in them. Some maybe you have some maybe some companies with double digit uh, dividend yields are good investments, but not all of them are. And I'm going to use AGNC as an example to show you really just you know that you really should be careful. Before we move on, I want to encourage everyone to hit that like button, hit subscribe button, and notification bell. I post new videos all the time. All right, so what we're looking at here is my dividend calculator. I built this myself in Excel. And we're going to focus mostly on the snapshot section, but the snapshot section is fed from the left side of the calculator where you get a year by year, month by month look at your investment all the way up to 45 years down the road. Now this calculator reinvests dividends automatically. There's no way to turn that off and keep in mind all numbers produced are estimates only because no one can predict the future. So we're on the monthly version of the calculator because AGNC does pay monthly, but the, we have a quarterly version for those quarterly dividend paying companies and ETFs, but we're going to stick to the monthly version for this video. I'm going to start off with $50 a month, and I'll put in a few other monthly investment examples just to show you, but I'm going to start off with $50. And before I do that, I want to point out that the average dividend yield, I've already figured it out, is 10.57% for AGNC. That's just their average. Their current yield as of right now, which is May 13, 2022, sits at 11.62%. But the average is 10.57, so keep that in mind. The annual dividend per share is currently $1.44, and the five-year compound annual growth rate is negative 6.73%. So I want to put in $50 a month, and this is what this is where we got. So focusing long-term, 40, 40, 45 years down the road, you can see here, after investing for 45 years, you've invested a total of $27,000. That's just your monthly investment. That does not include re reinvested dividends. And you're getting $7,402.48, which is 27.42% yield on cost. Now, that is absolutely horrible. $7,402 7, is not a lot of money, especially after 45 years of investing. And what's driving it, as you can imagine, is the fact that the dividend is shrinking. It's getting smaller. Five-year company and growth rate of negative 6.73% is not great. AG&C has a longer history of just five years but a longer history of reducing their dividend because their 10-year compound annual growth rate, I believe, is negative 14 point something percent. So right around negative 14 percent. So they've been decreasing their dividend on average every year for at least the past 10 years. Now, I want to show you what would happen if AGNC did not decrease their dividend. They didn't increase it, but they didn't decrease it. They just, it would just stay the same, you know, consistently stay the same. What would that look like? What would these numbers look like? So keep in mind down here, you got $7,402.48, 27.42% yield on cost. So $7,400, 27%. Now what will happen? What would happen if they just had, if they if their dividend just broke even, they never increased it or decreased it? Look at the difference in the amount of money. Over $60,000 more in annual dividends after 45 years. And you went from 27% yield on cost to almost 251% yield on cost. And that's just that they don't decrease their dividend. You're not The only way you're building more and more annual dividend income is just because you're accumulating more and more shares every single year. So this really shows just when you get these companies that decrease their dividend, just how much it can cut into your earning power later on down the road. Um, with regards to your uh, your dividend payouts and really this kind of overall portfolio value as well will really take a hit if the um, if the dividends are, are being cut because the investors see less value in the company when they're producing less and less dividends. So I'm going to put this back to negative six point what we got seven three percent. Now I'm gonna put in a couple other amounts here. We'll put in two hundred and fifty dollars. You can see our $37,000 after 45 years. Again, the yield on cost will stay the same around 27%. So 37,000, 27%. What would happen if they did not decrease their dividend or increase it, just left it where it is, $1.44 a year, $338,820. So just massive, massive amounts of, uh, of money that you could be collecting if they weren't just even just decreasing their dividend because they just maintain it where it is. But they're not doing that. So 
that's what I really wanted to show everyone. Just, you know, you, you see these double digit companies, like I said, right now, AGNC is 11.62%. I know I, I got the average up here. Their average is 10.57, but currently 11.62%. You may think, gosh, for every hundred dollars I invest in AGNC, I'm going to get $11 and 62 cents back in dividends every year. What a great deal that is. You got to dig a little deeper. And this is one way to dig a little deeper is using a tool like I have here, my dividend calculator which if you want to copy this calculator down below in the description is a link to my listing on fiverr.com where you can purchase a copy of this calculator for just $5. So you make the purchase and then within 24 hours, I will send you a message on Fiverr with the calculator attached to it. So check that link out down below. But you know, you see these 11.62% or even higher dividend yields. You know, the companies could be good. They, they could have strong dividend history. The overall basics and fundamentals of the company could be great. However, you need to double check. Just don't look at that dividend yield and say, wow, look how much money I'm going to be getting in dividends. This is going to be fantastic. I'll be sitting on a beach in my own private island here you know, in no time. It's not really the case, at least not in most scenarios and based on my experience and things that I've seen. So, you know, definitely, you know, you find a company you think is worth investing in, do your research. You must, must do your own research because um, really no one's going to care about your money than you will. So do your research. See if the, the company is actually worth investing in, in the short term and in the long term, and see if it fits in your overall portfolio. It will help you reach your investment goals and just kind of matches your, your risk tolerance too as well. So that's about all I have for everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was eye-opening. I hope this really showed you just, you know, just you got to be careful. There's a lot of money you can make in the stock market. It certainly is. There's a lot of great companies out there, but not every company on the stock market is a great company in my opinion. So Definitely, like I said, just do your own research. If you have any questions, leave that down below for me in the comment section. Remember, hit that like button, hit subscribe button, and notification bell. I post new videos all the time. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.